How's it going everyone? Today I have an exciting video for you. Today we're gonna to be doing the house tour through my new construction home. Now we're also gonna be going through each room, checking out what smart devices I'm planning on using and what automations I'm planning on using. Now, watch all the way till the end of the video because at the end I have a special little treat of a drawer inside of my office. Pretty cool drawer. But also in the comments below in each room, I want you to tell me what you would do or what you're currently doing in that room in your house. Let's get started. So as we walk into the first room of the house, it is the office on the ground floor. Not much in here except for speakers, some coax and some ethernet, uh, pretty boring room. Maybe use this for a gym in the future. But what this room does house is the closet, which I call my networking room. And in here, it is a sight to be told. In here I have uh, all of my ethernet cables. It's where I'll put up a rack. It's also where all of my Ubiquiti devices are going to be housed. The Dream Machine Pro, the PoE switch, um, and other things in order to make this a lot nicer and prettier. Uh, currently it's uh, a little bit messy as I have the rack on the floor and everything else on the ground. But in the future, we'll put the rack up on the wall. Um, we have some conduit going to each and every room as well as ethernet going through every room in the house as well as the cameras in each corner. A lot to do in this room, um, definitely for a future video. So as we walk out of this room, here I have the Slage Z-Wave lock that came with the house as well as right behind this wall we have all of the alarm panel pre-wiring. So along each outside window and each outside door, I have a pre-wired contact sensor. Let's go on through the hallway here. We have a wireless AP, total of three around the house. And we also have the very nice tablet up on the wall. All right, on to the first main room of the house, which is the kitchen. In here, of course, we have the smart oven that came with the house, good for preheating notifications, smart fridge that we have, good for knowing when, the open, when we left the door open, speakers in here for the whole home audio. We have a camera up in the top corner that we'll utilize for seeing the house whenever we're gone to make sure the dogs are okay. But the coolest part of this room is actually the outlets underneath the cabinets where eventually I'll have a motion sensor set up and then we'll trigger LED strips underneath those in order to turn those on um, to illuminate when we're coming for a midnight snack. As we continue through here, we'll get into the dining room. Now the dining room is pretty bland, but it does house the robot vacuum, the Roborock S7 Plus that has the auto emptying. And that is a nice little robot. Uh, cleans the house really well. We run that during the day automated through Home Assistant. So onto the next room, we have the living room where not much here except for maybe a smart TV, smart lights, of course, and then possibly hooking up a smart switch to the fireplace in order to run that when we need to. The next cool place is the hallway, which is weird, which houses the T6 Pro series Honeywell thermostat. This is the thermostat that came with the house, which is really nice because it was Z-Wave out of the box. Now, I wasn't expecting that, but it was a nice surprise whenever we got, we got the house. In the bedroom, we have the 4K TV set up here. Um, in this room, the main automations we're gonna be looking at is LEDs under the bed, if we can, to illuminate at night when we need that midnight snack. Smart curtains in order to open them up in the morning to give us a gradual wake up. We have a nice access point to make sure that the bedroom is one of the main rooms gonna be using the phones in, therefore it needs a good access point. Let's go into the main bathroom. From LEDs to under the cabinets to a motion sensor that will trigger and morning routines, this room is gonna be an amazing room for automations. In here, I also plan to have a TV up on the wall that's gonna have a Google Cast, so that in the morning when we wake up, we'll be able to run a routine, run a home automation that will show the weather up on the TV and then also tell me about my day. 
Now this will go through and tell me the weather, it'll tell me my next event for the day and anything else that I need to. We'll go over that in a later video, so make sure to subscribe. Also in this room, the motion detector will sense humidity, temperature, we'll be able to know when people are in the shower, and we'll also be able to illuminate the cabinets underneath with an LED strip because of the toe plate outlet that we have installed. So that's gonna be the main automations in here in order to make this room ready for morning automations. The main thing in here is really just going to be the appliances that eventually maybe we'll upgrade to smart appliances. But for now, it's all about the energy monitoring from a smart plug that'll let us know whenever the washer is done and send a notification via Home Assistant onto each one of our phones in order for us to know exactly when to go and change the loads. All right, so last room in the downstairs is gonna be the garage. So in the garage, the main thing is gonna be the smart garage door openers from MyQ. They also have cameras installed, which was nice. They came with the house. In here, we also have the sprinkler system that'll eventually hook up to a smart sprinkler and control that within Home Assistant in order to make sure we get the best water coverage during the day. Also have some ethernet cable ran in here for a smart TV in the future, but that's about it. So now that we're done with the downstairs, let's head upstairs. All right, as we get upstairs, it's one of my favorite rooms in the entire house. We have the 75 inch TCL 6 series that's really great for watching movies. In here, we'll also have smart lights, of course. We have speakers for the whole home audio, as well as a camera location up in the corner in order to catch the area while we're gone. In here, we will have the vacuum set up as well, which will run during the night. Wireless access point is up here as well. And then as we exit the room, we'll actually stand by the tablet. So another tablet, just like the one downstairs, is gonna go right here. There's actually wiring behind the wall for PoE that I'll use in order to keep the tablet charged. Now we'll go over that in a video in the future on how to make a dashboard for it, as well as how to easily set one up on your wall. As we go, we'll go into the last room, but before we get there, we do pass the last thermostat. So this thermostat is the upstairs thermostat that we'll utilize for making sure everything is nice and warm or nice and cool. Now that we're in my office, I can tell you all the great things that I'll do in order to make this the smartest office in the world. This office is gonna have smart curtains from Ikea. So you'll see one's already set up over there on the right. One is yet to be set up over here. We'll get that done on another video, of course. In this room, I have three setups. First setup is my work setup uh, with the MacBook Pro M1 with the camera facing directly towards me with the line set up. We have the gaming setup over here on the left that I utilize at night for playing Valorant, Halo, whatever else games are popular at the time. But the main setup that I wanna focus on is the one that you guys will see most often during my videos. It is the new dedicated setup for YouTube. Here I have the A64 Sony camera with, we'll have two light setups here, as well as any other things that I need for the videos. The Home Assistant hub is definitely gonna live here in order to do any videos that I need. Now on the wall behind you, you'll see the VR setup and my backdrop of what you guys will start seeing in the videos. Now, of course, we're gonna put up the posters, Iron Man and Captain America, of course. All right, and the last thing, the thing that everybody wants to know about is all the smart home devices that are gonna be going around the house. And I have a goodie drawer over here that is really cool. And this is the drawer full of smart devices. And here we have the Akara devices, we have Raspberry Pis, we have, we just have a lot of stuff in here. So we'll utilize this drawer to pull stuff out of, to make videos as well as anything else that we need for the rooms. But thanks for coming by and checking out my new construction and all the ways that I'm gonna make this home smart. If you have any ideas of things that I may have missed, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.